this is by far our coldest morning. Brr, but it was a great place to sleep. We had the soothing sounds of trucks racing down the highway all night. Peanut butter honey. Peanut butter honey. What do you have in there? Oh, surprise. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter and honey. honey. That is the breakfast wrap of choice today. Here's a pro tip. If you're gonna eat breakfast wraps with peanut butter in the morning, go with honey, because it doesn't freeze. It's getting there, it's getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm stubborn, Ryan. Hard-headed, stubborn. <laughs> you get that Nutella. Get you it. get it. And how are you doing this morning? How are you doing, sweetie? Yeah, did you sleep well? Look at that. What oh, is that? Oh, look at that it's Nutella. Nutella action. It only took 30 minutes to warm it up. <laughs> Hello, my friends. I just wanted to jump in here and say thank you for watching my videos. And a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You are definitely making a huge difference in my ability to be able to keep this channel rolling. And if you're not a Patreon supporter, now is a great time to jump on board. Your financial support goes a long way. As you know, my goal is to inspire people all over the world to spread love and kindness and hopefully get people off their couches and to get out there. If you wanna join my Patreon, it is linked below. If Patreon's not your thing, I also have a PayPal. If you can't do either of those, that is a-okay. But what you can do is share my videos with as many of your friends as possible. Even maybe your enemies. Anybody who you think might benefit from Doozer TV. Thank you so much, and let's get back to this. Let's start the morning off with a little historical education. The South Pass, in which you are now located, is perhaps the most significant transportation gateway through the Rocky Mountains. Indians, mountain men, Oregon, trail immigrants, Pony Express riders, and miners all recognize the value of this passageway straddling the Continental Divide. Today, we're heading into the Great Basin, and there's very, very little water, so we've all packed quite a bit, and it should be very beautiful. Lots of wide, open vistas. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it out here. The GoPro buddy system. What a morning. There is not one cloud in the sky. Oh, and guess what today is? Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday, happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, happy, happy, hey! South Pass City. Emigrant travelers on their way west likely discovered small amounts of gold in the 1840s, but it took until 1868 for the first mining claims to be staked. Word of the new gold rush spread in the summer of 1868 brought an influx of people from every corner of the globe to partake in the bonanza. A torrent of mining activity followed for the next several years. In 1869, South Pass City, with perhaps 3,000 people, was Wyoming's second largest town. Wow. See that gun? That's how big guns are in Wyoming. You better watch out for the cowboys. Right here is Richard Sherlock's bathhouse, a two-story structure. Water came from a spring and was pumped to the second floor and heated. Cost was 50 cents a bath. This is really cool. This is the Carissa Saloon, named after one of the local mines. And you can't go in, unfortunately, because of what's going on with COVID. But you can see inside, it's really well restored. Lots of fun stuff to look at. What would I look like as a cowboy or gold miner? Probably wouldn't have a plastic helmet on or these weird looking white arm sleeves. <laughs> this is the John W. Illiff and Company Bank. The bank bought gold dust from local miners and sold it all over the United States. Can you imagine spending your day just sifting through sand looking for flakes of gold? 
really enjoying that this route is a lot of nature, but it's also a lot of history throughout the West, which is fascinating. I'm gonna go home and research all this stuff we've been riding through. I am very impressed at how well preserved this city is. And there are some full-time residents here as well. And now we are in the bustling metropolis of Atlantic City. And there's the mercantile, look at that. So we're riding on the Great Divide, and John just pointed out that this is the Great Divide. You see this sign on this side of the road? Swamp Monsters of DC. Then we walk across this dirt road, and we have a much different take on things. Love is life, black lives matter, we believe in climate change, all genders are whole, women have agency. Yep, and then right down there is the other sign. This sign is a little different than the lovey-dovey Black Lives Matter, all humans are equal. I'm guessing these neighbors don't like each other. <laughs> I'm guessing one person started it and the other put the other one up. So John, you're not from this country and no. obviously you watch the news and you know what's going on. What, what, is, what do you think about all this? Each side thinks that they're right. And, and the th I, I think, they want what's best for the country but uh, as much as anything they seem like they almost enjoy antagonizing the other side <laughs> you know it's like a sport like a reality TV show so yeah it's really strange for me uh, what side would most Canadians be on oh we most Canadians would probably be uh, Democrat but I would say that uh, of my friends um, and many people I know, we would be left of Democrat. Gotcha. Um, we would consider them quite far right. So you'd be flying the rainbow flag? Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we would take this guy's solar panels. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we'd be happy to use those yeah. with that flag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We are at the Miner's Grub Stake here in Atlantic City and it is a trip. I feel like I've walked back in time and it's a lot of fun to look at all the stuff on the wall. There is a lot of old timey, quirky, kitschy things here. Tell me about this, this amazing place we're in. Uh, we came through on a Harley in 08 and decided to change careers and buy a bar and restaurant. And so here we are. Yeah. Love the trail. We kind of take care of the hikers and bicycles and try to be here. Even if the kitchen's closed, we'll get you a hoagie. Make sure you're loaded up with water. Maybe a few tap beers and you're good to go. That's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Awesome. And we'll get you some breakfast. Yeah. Get that meat. It's gonna power us to the basin. Laurel, thank you so much. You are welcome. This is amazing. Oh, yes. So what are we looking at through the basin here? Well, you're looking at a fairly easy start. <laughs> then you're gonna to go to the sweet water, which is really beautiful. Not much water. You're gonna to have to pack quite a bit. Okay. Make sure you filter it if you don't have enough. And you're gonna encounter antelope and wild horses. John, what'd you just do, man? Fill up some water. Got some big waters. Laurel, thank you so much. You're the best. Thank, thank you. you. So much. We'll be back. Awesome. We'll be back. Bye. Thank you all. You're the best. We'll see you on the trail next year, right? Let's hope. Let's do it. I gotta lose like 30 pounds. Yeah. I'll be ready. <laughs> you got it, man. You got it. You got the knobby tires. Yeah. No, you're, you're ready to go. I'm constantly out on the bike, you know. I wheel quite a bit. You do? Yeah. What's your name? Month. I'm Jake. Jake, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Ryan, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, cheers, cheers. Boom. <laughs> yeah, we'll just kick Yeah, we'll fist bump. <laughs> cool. Awesome. All right, you guys. Yeah, you guys have been wonderful. Enjoy the desert out there. You're going to love it. Oh, yeah? It's really beautiful, but it's hot. So. Yeah. It was 101 degrees coming through there yesterday. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it'll be even cooler there. today. <laughs> well, there's no like windbreak or mountain cool air. You don't get any of that out there. Okay. It's just hot.
That might be the coolest bar we've stopped in on the trip. And it's all because of the family, the mom and her sons and her husband. Yeah, it will be. If you're doing the divide, make sure to come to the Miner's Grub Steak. So far, the Great Basin is definitely a great wide open. It's very beautiful. Lots of sky, lots of clouds, puppy clouds. And the riding conditions are a little slow. It's pretty washboardy. So it's just a lot of this. You have to find the right line here on the road that's smooth, which is kind of a game to keep you occupied while you're pounding out the miles. I'm excited to ride through this. It's really quite beautiful and stark and way different than what we were riding through just a few days ago in Montana. Hi, buddy. Yeah, so good to see you. So good to see you. Thanks for saying hi. On our map, it says there is one place with water out here. It's called the Diagnus Well. And we're gonna go check out and see if there really is water. It was kind of tricky to find. There was no marking on the road, but we knew it was at about 20 miles after Atlantic City. Oh, and there it is. Look at that glorious water. Yes. Look at that water. Go get some of that water. It does say that we need to treat the water. So that's what we're doing. John's got his lightsaber in there. I'm gonna chug this whole bottle and then refill. Hydrate because I don't think we have anything for the next 80 miles. Chug, 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 chug. Thank you mother nature for this well. I really appreciate it. Team check-in, how we doing? Kevin? Great. Kevin's great. Mira, how you doing? Always great. Mm -hmm. John? Hey, okay. Two thumbs up from the Canadian. Whew, yeah. We're making some ground. We've gone about 50 miles today. Not bad. <laughs> Kevin just threw up water. That's a very important resource these these days but don't be throwing that stuff up <laughs> pretty steep <laughs> We are now off that main dirt road we were on, which was a fine dirt road, but now we're a little bit more remote on a road that does not see a lot of action. And this is probably the most fun terrain we've ridden in a few days for sure. Up and down and a little bit of technical action. A lot of fun. Would you like to trade this Snickers for two pieces of string cheese? It's 
a good deal. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal. Can do that? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Sugar let's... for protein. Sugar for protein. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Done and done. We are hanging out beside an old beat up cabin for a little afternoon snack. And uh, the sun is pretty hot right now, so that's kind of why we're hiding from it. Would you like me to throw that one? No, not yet. Not yet? Oh, okay. You let me know when you're ready, bud. So we just had a little evening snack to boost our energy levels. It is 6.15 p.m. We've gone 70 miles. We have about 40 more to go to get to Wamsutter, which is the next town with water and resupply and that kind of fun stuff. And uh, the pedaling is pretty easy right now. And we'll see how far we go. Maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe all of it. Who knows? Mira, the wonder dog, the wonder dog, Mira, the wonder dog. <laughs> this is by far the fastest rolling we've had all day and we're gonna take advantage of this we have a favorable wind as well and the sun is getting lower on the horizon it's not as hot conditions are good almost nine o'clock the sun is down we went 93 point something and we're calling it good that was a big push and it was a beautiful day and we got through the basin pretty much we're just gonna wake up tomorrow and ride 15 miles to Wamsutter and get some more water and resupply and whoo another day in Wyoming thank you Wyoming so Kevin we stopped at 93 miles you did oh, yeah. not stop what did you go do we did, or I did 100.4 miles because one of the things on my Kev Does 101 bucket list is to ride a century. And when you're that close, you have to finish it. So I did a couple laps up and down and boom, we got 100 miles, first century. How do you feel? I feel like a champ. I'm tired and I'm excited to go to bed, but I, I feel like I overcame something big, especially the way we started today with the great basin, the no water, the climbing, the crappy terrain. All this stuff was kind of pitted against us, and man, I feel good to have done the 100 miles. Way to go, man. You come a long way in four days. <laughs> Thank you. The most Thank elevation, you the most mileage yesterday, 70, today 100. Yeah. What's going to happen tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll start flying on the bike or something. Yeah. <laughs> way to go, bud. High five. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you. woo -wee! Hello, Colorado! I'm not exactly in Colorado yet, but what I'm looking at is definitely Colorado and it feels so good to be home. <laughs>